Oh, apparently this is the face of pure fucking evil and shit. I have received my first motherfucking package since I gave you guys my address with which to mail me shit. Um, so I'm going to open that in this video and I want to talk a little bit about um, some vegan hate I got today. I'm not even going to title it that way because I'm not looking to draw vegans here. But this is just kind of a little, you know, bullshit rant video that I, I can throw together real quick while because I'm still working heavily on the adventure video and some production elements that I'm trying to get done this week. But this came in the mail and I wanted to kind of give my thoughts on whatever. I haven't opened it yet. I don't know what the fuck it is. Um, feels booky, you know. It's from Better World Books, apparently. So, uh, I'm gonna start off by opening that. Somebody sent me, and I don't know who sent me this, it was drop shipped, so it was, you know, somebody ordered it and had it shipped to my address, um, which is in the description if you wanted to do something like this. Your money or your life. So, uh, sounds along the lines of, uh, Personal finance and minimalism. Let's see. I'm going to read the little back thing to figure out if, you know, if I want to read this or not. Do you spend more than you earn? Does making a living feel like making a dying? Do you feel stuck in a job you can't afford to leave? Is money fragmenting your time and your relationships with family and friends? If so, your money or your life is... For you. So it tells you you're going to get out of debt, resolve inner conflicts between values and lifestyles, reorder material properties, and live well for less, slow down, work and spend treadmill, make value-based fucking decisions, and discover the fucking power of perfection, of enoughness, and know how much is fucking enough for you. Doesn't say all them fuckings on there, right? Uh, my creative touch. So yes, I will read this. It sounds right up my alley as far as minimalism, downsizing your life, and goes with the theme of the adventure video I'm currently working on. Um, you know, we spend way too much of our time working to pay for shit we don't need that doesn't really bring us that much joy you know, we might get a, a little dopamine hit when we first buy something or a little dopamine hit when we first do something or go out to dinner. But then after a while, it becomes routine and you don't really derive as much pleasure from it as if you did it every once in a great while. Um, and we give up hours upon hours of our time. And I'm guilty of this too. Even still doing this as a YouTuber, I work many hours per week. I also do Uber on top of that. I also have a part-time job now on top of that. I have been working my ass off, mainly to pay for some debt that I have from these trips that I'm doing a video of, and to pay, I want to pay off my phone at some point. That's the only other debt I have, and then I'm debt-free again and can hopefully work a little less. I need to learn to scale back on the amount of time I spend making YouTube videos and doing research. 
I'm doing way too much right now, and what that risks is me burning out and not wanting to do it at all. Um, and I don't want to get to that point. So I'm trying to slow down a little bit. Um, not to mention people have commented saying they can't keep up with all the content I'm doing. I'm, it's too much of a time demand to watch all of this shit. So I need to kind of slow my pace a little, provide steady stream of content, maybe two or three videos a week instead of, you know, four or five. Try and tone, like if I release a two hour fucking video, maybe that can do for the week. Um, because it takes so long to get through that length of video. Um, so, you know, I welcome suggestions in the comments, but so thumbs up for whoever sent me this. Um, I will read it. Uh, it'll take me a while. I have to do it in my free time, that free time shit, you know, that, uh, I need to work on. But, um, overall, thank you. And, um, you know, this is an, a contribution to the channel too, because this will derive more knowledge, more research for me to talk on the minimalism portions of this channel, of which have been lacking lately. I need to get a little bit more into the lifestyle issues that we're confronted with and the addictions thereof. That being said, I just got called to the fucking evil motherfucker by uh, a vegan today. This is apparently the face of evil. Um, apparently, you know, Native Americans who used to exclusively dine on buffalo were all fucking evil because they killed the buffalo. Even though they were very reverent, had a little ceremony and shit, every time they hunted and killed something, they thanked the animal. And, you know, but apparently that's still evil in, uh, some vegan eyes. Now, I'm not labeling all vegans with this brush, you know, this broad fucking paintbrush. But I do think that there are some vegans out there that need to, well, not just vegans, there's actually a lot of people nowadays that need to really question their butt hurt fucking lives and their condemnation and moral superiority because they do things one way and they condemn anybody who doesn't do it that way as evil or wrong or, you know dangerous or you know so on and so forth and it's this kind of thinking that is leading to the breakdown of society as we know it we're so divided we're so sitting here attacking each other you know i only respond to the vegan criticisms i don't go out looking for them. i'm not watching vegan videos to take a shit on them if something like the vegan burger thing comes up um, generally it's in response to some vegan hate I'm getting that I come across that kind of shit. And, you know, I give my opinion on it, but at the same time, I'm not saying vegans are evil, you know, which could, you could go down that rabbit hole because if you think about the fact that the diet is not necessarily healthy and a lot of vegans eat a lot of processed foods which destroy their health and put them in the same category as the over 50% of us that are pre-diabetic in the United States and probably the world at this point, and the people that are dying and suffering disease as a result. But they don't give a shit about that. They give a shit about whether or not a cow is comfortable on its way to the chopping block in the fucking slaughterhouse. And, you know, that to, it seems more important than human health. And, you know, without turning this into a vegan, you know, shit on video, which it isn't, I really want to address the vegans that come to me or anybody that comes to me, you know, riding the high horse thinking they're right about everything and all they have to present is nutritionfacts.org, a notoriously biased cherry picking website. And, you know... It, it's it you need to expand your horizons be open to criticism which i am i do get critiqued within the realm of my diet within things that i might be a little wrong on and they're constructive in nature and i respond to those by researching further i don't respond to your evil your you suck dicks in hell you need to fuck off with this shit 20 years down the line, you're going to realize you're fucking stupid and come over to the, you know, to our side and you and embrace a whole food plants based fucking diet, you know, animals are suffering and it's all your fault. And meanwhile, we've been eating animals as human, you know, humanity has evolved eating animals. We would not have evolved had we not done so. We might not have even survived 
had we not done so. There's been climates and in, environmental impacts throughout the ages that have wiped out a lot of plant life, so much so that we would have been starving if we were relying exclusively on plant life. There's a flip side. There's spots where animals aren't, uh, aren't as prevalent. So when in those, you know, you get starvation and malnutrition in that. And that doesn't necessarily justify things one way or the other, but the fact of the matter is there has never been a 100% fucking vegan society. We have always hunted animals and fished and that gets ignored by the current dogma because everyone's feeling morally superior and more intelligent than everybody else so they must be right and shit i am not that way i know i could be wrong these are things i believe in passionately i share my knowledge and experience based on results based on what i believe is unbiased research that is pushing forward our health as the number one motivator for what we eat and not whether or not a fucking animal dies, not whether or not, you know, a certain crop is consumed or not consumed, but overall our general health, not optimal health. I'm not a fan of that either. I'm not a supplement guy. You know, there's all kinds of things that I differ opinion in on, but I'm not condemning the people who do that. For example, I think st supplements are the hugest fucking waste of money and resources and health and sometimes in a negative way with the supplements on the health side. However, I'm not sitting here calling everybody who uses supplements a fucking idiot. And that's what vegans that do this, that come to my channel and do that kind of criticism need to really think about. And it's, it's getting to the point where you can spot somebody who is not a free thinker, who is not embracing the fact that they might be wrong occasionally or that maybe they're doing they're not questioning what they're doing constantly like I am I'm always questioning the ketogenic diet what like I just tried liver for that exact fucking reason you know what is healthy within the realm of ketogenic diet I know my health is dramatically improved whenever I've cut carbs and sugar out of my life so now it's about refining a balance of happiness with what I'm eating, which I mostly have, um, not going back, not wanting to have cheat days, being satisfied enough with the way I feel in the diet and the foods I'm eating without going back to cheating. So what I want to get across today is when you go to someone's channel or their social media or so on and criticize them on their beliefs while thinking you're standing on some moral, uh, moral, you know, high ground, which you're not in most cases, no matter what side of the coin you fall on, um, there are questionable things and ethics that are involved on your side versus their side. Um, and this is just a divisive, combative thing. Nobody, you don't go and attack somebody and convert them to your cause. What gets people on board with your cause is positive reinforcement, proof in the, you know, what you have done to your health, where you, like, if you started out unhealthy and obese and you, for example, went on a vegan diet and it reversed all of your issues without introducing new issues, then I would say, Share that as a way of trying to bring people over. But going to their, you know, channel, social media or whatever, or seeing them in person and telling them, you know, you're stupid, you're evil, you're hurting animals, what's wrong with you, why would you do this, that is only going to cause people to raise their defenses. And this could be applied in any number of subjects, not necessarily just diet. You can apply this to politics, you know, social interactions, trends, and stuff like that. But you really got to consider, you know, where you're coming from and what you're hoping to accomplish by criticizing somebody to that degree and calling them names and so on and so forth. It's really dumb. All it does is reinforce the opposition. It doesn't bring them over to your side. You know, you can't, like, beat somebody into being a vegan. You can't, you know, call them names and have them say, Oh, well, I must have been fucking up all this time. You know, I was eating meat, therefore I am stupid. So I must go over to where people are not stupid. Which is fucking ridiculous. We need to stop that. 
All right, we need to stop treating everybody who doesn't think like we do as fucking morons and being evil and being, you know, it's ridiculous and it's out of control in this butthurt triggered society and it's trickling out into all manner of life. There's people whose careers are getting ruined for this reason. There's people, you know, like even here on YouTube, it's whether or not we're going to get paid for all the time and effort we put into making these videos. That's been coming into question all because people feel morally superior with their beliefs and want to condemn anyone who is not of like mind. And that is the pathway to tyranny, to fascism, to a complete breakdown of freedom, and it is the wrong direction. And much like I believe vegans are doing in the realm of nutrition, socially they are part of that moving in the wrong direction that seems to be taking over our entire world today and why we have such unrest and division in everything we've been fucking doing. Just my thoughts and shit. It was almost, you know, full-on trigger at that point. Hey, I get triggered too. But I at least have enough freedom of thought to not condemn the person or persons that trigger me not even this motherfucker that's basically said if you eat meat you're evil um which means most people are evil and vegans aren't hmm wonder how that works out vegans are the only angels in the world apparently and shit see the flaw in that thinking i do well back to work I wish I could take some time off. I'm, you know, going to probably at some point take an extra day off here or there um, because I am burning the candle at both ends right now. Um, I am going out to a birthday dinner tonight and to hang out with my buddy, so there's a little bit of time off in my future. But remember, I'm not a fucking expert. I'm just a fucking asshole. Thanks, whoever sent me your money or your life. I look forward to reading it while I'm taking shit or in the tub soaking my balls, you know, or whenever I get a moment, you know, and it's a nice alternative to staring at a device because I get way too much screen time between my research, um, my YouTube channel, and, you know, I'm always on some kind of device right now and I recognize that that's a flaw that needs to be corrected. So I'd like to be able to stare at a book every once in a while. Although I gotta admit, sometimes I get drowsy when I'm reading a book versus when I'm staring at the blue screen effectiveness of keeping me awake. So, you can send more shit to the address below and, or in the credits and I'll try it out. I'll open it up in front of you and see what I think, whether or not I'm going to use whatever it is you send me. Um, if I end up not using it, it'll get donated to... Um, you know, one of the charities or one of, you know, like Salvation Army or Goodwill or something. Um, but I will at least give my thoughts. If it's something I can review and keep an open mind about, I will. Um, if it's something that goes against my minimalist life that I would not find it useful or adding value, I will pass it on to maybe someone it may help. Okay? Or if it's something I've already read, I will pass it on to somebody I think who would read it and benefit from the extra knowledge. Sorry, I keep looking down to see if my camera's overheating. Have a nice motherfucking day. And shit.